have always had a fascination with Renaissance art and the incredible amount of hard work the artists put into their pieces. My favorite works were always the ones that captured the human body in flawless detail. At University of Missouri-Columbia, I took an anatomical drawing course and discovered an artist who understood anatomy seemingly better than anyone else. Our professor showed us preliminary sketches by Michelangelo. I remember looking at his pieces and being simply speechless at the amount of information being presented. How did this man know every single muscle? How did he make these drawings look so realistic and lifelike? How did he make his drawings so convincing? I spent the rest of the semester trying to learn every single muscle group and trying to master anatomical drawing. At the end of the semester, I wasn't satisfied with my progress and ended up taking three more anatomical drawing classes before I would graduate from Mizzou. In summer 2015, my anatomical drawing professor hosted a study abroad trip to Italy specializing in Renaissance art. What more could I ask for? On May 31, 2015, I left for Italy to study my favorite artist in the cities where he made his art hundreds of years ago. I traveled, I studied, I ate amazing food, I drew and journaled every day, I visited the ocean, I made amazing friends, I saw priceless art nearly every day, I visited ancient ruins, I had the time of my life, and most importantly, I got to truly study one of the most profound artists in history by viewing his work in person and being immersed in a culture full of inspiration. Michelangelo was born in Caprice, Italy, March 6, 1475. Funnily enough, my birthday is March 6 as well. Since I have discovered Michelangelo, I have always held a secret pride that we shared the same birthday. Though he was born in Caprice, he grew up in Florence, which is where I lived for most of my 30 days in Italy. Caprice is about 60 miles east of Florence. Even as a child, Michelangelo had an obsession with art. His father tried to send him to school, but he was determined to study art and ended up getting an apprenticeship at the age of 13 where he learned about fresco painting. His apprenticeship didn't last long, however, as Michelangelo's talent was recognized and he was given the opportunity to move into the Medici Palace to study classical sculpture in the Medici Gardens. Myself and my study abroad group visited the Medici Palace and got to roam the gardens where Michelangelo learned about classical sculpture and see the lavish lifestyle the Medici family was living. While Michelangelo lived in the Medici Palace, he gained much knowledge, respect, and some very powerful friends who helped him get special permissions from the Catholic Church to study cadavers. This is one of the main reasons why Michelangelo was so amazing with anatomy. He dissected human bodies to understand where everything was supposed to be and what caused the body to look the way it does. In 1496, Michelangelo moved to Rome and was commissioned to create what ended up being one of the most famous sculptures in history, the Pieta. This amazing sculpture was created in less than a year. The drama, large scale, and amazingly realistic anatomy made this piece very relatable and an emotional piece for anyone viewing it. When we viewed this piece, I was stunned at how much I empathized with it. You have seen this story of Jesus and Mary illustrated 1,000 times, 1,000 different ways. But this piece carried so much compassion and emotion, it became all that much more real. Interestingly enough, this is the only sculpture to bear Michelangelo's name. After Michelangelo created the Pieta, he moved back to Florence and was commissioned to make the sculpture of David, which is perhaps one of the most recognizable and widely known sculptures in history. An interesting fact about the Statue of David is that this piece was attempted by several artists before Michelangelo and abandoned. And the stone that was used to carve David was actually flawed, which caused Michelangelo to have to adjust his carving to make David thinner. Because of this, David isn't truly meant to be viewed in the round. He is meant to be viewed from the front and from behind. Another amazing feat of the David sculpture is that Michelangelo realized that people would be viewing it from below and adjusted the perspective of the carving to help with that meaning that he made David's head and upper body larger than it naturally would have been to account for this extreme perspective of viewing this 17-foot tall sculpture. After Michelangelo completed the David sculpture, the Pope requested that Michelangelo return to Rome and paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Although he considered himself to be a sculptor and not a painter, he accepted the job. Michelangelo painted mesmerizing biblical scenes and more than 300 figures. This masterpiece took him four years to complete by himself because he fired every assistant he had as he considered them inept. The most widely known of the paintings, Creation of Adam, is an amazing work that not only masters correct anatomy, but uses the pose of the body to convey emotion. Michelangelo truly was a master of the arts, and though Michelangelo created many other beautiful and amazing works throughout his life, these are the most widely known and perhaps his greatest accomplishments. Michelangelo died in Rome, February 18, 1564, at the age of 88. His body was returned to Florence and laid to rest at the Basilica di Santa Croce, also known as the Temple of the Italian Glories, where artist Giorgio Vasari created a wonderful and fitting memorial with sculpture, amazing architecture, and painting. 
Unlike many artists, Michelangelo achieved fame during his lifetime, and his captivating and amazing detailed work continues to influence people more than 450 years after his death. Overall, I had some of the best experiences of my life while in Italy. I drew random silly things in my notebook as I traveled from one amazing exhibit to another. I often thought of Michelangelo and tried to absorb the inspiration and talent from the amazing pieces of art I was seeing every day. Michelangelo has greatly influenced my style and my interests as an artist, and I still reference his anatomical sketches for inspiration to this day.